Madden NFL 23 on EA Sports. And the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the Washington Commanders and the Philadelphia Eagles under the lights on Sunday night. Joey Sly, the kicker, stands ready. And off we go from Lincoln Financial Field. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Now for the first time, we get to see this Philadelphia offense led out by their dual-threat quarterback now in his third season, Jalen Hurts. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked down and incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Hurts over there taken in by Smith. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. On first and 10, it's Hurts. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. Touchdown, Philadelphia! Let's make no bones about it. On paper, they're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening drive. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said, better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go and prove it right now. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. Thousand-yard rusher a season ago, Antonio Gibson with it. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Heineke now. A throw to the flat here for McKissick. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Holding offense. They were looking to throw, holding in the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. You're just going to pick up a hold. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And yeah, that is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Good return there. Give him an even 20 yards. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And the stiff arm made it a pretty little run. Not a huge gain, but a nice chunk of yardage. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And that is incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. They'll try and throw for it with Hurts. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And that will force a turnover on downs. First down, Heineke. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was nice work there defensively to force incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allow that turnover to hurt. Now, quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Now Heineke. And that will be incomplete. 
incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with completion there. Now drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Wow, partner, it's almost a little jarring to see a holder set up on the other side of midfield. I haven't brought out my binoculars to make sure on that one. That is showing an awful lot of confidence in a kicker. They tried hitting 61 yards, and this one lines up no good. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. After one, seven, nothing. Now second quarter action from Philadelphia, and it's the Eagles in possession as they've got it with a first and ten. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. On second and ten, Hurts over the middle. He's got Watkins. And they're going to be set up down around the 15-yard line. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Touchdown! Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Elliott good on the extra point, and it's now 14 to nothing. Just four plays, and it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Taken from about the 12. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Here's Gibson to start the drive. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. The tackle by Robert Quinn. Here's Heineke. That's complete. Terry McLaurin with it. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Looking to throw. Heineke. Got an open man. Finds Gibson. And he's going to be taken down. Plus, there's a penalty flag in the backfield. They may get 15 more on top of this. Well, that flag puts them on their heels a little bit more defensively as the officials walk it upfield. Yeah, and they can blame the officials all they want, but bottom line, it's their own fault because, to me, that was an avoidable call. Stay focused and avoid major mistakes like that. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. From the 27, Heineke. Middle of the field, he's got McLaurin. And he's brought down here just outside of the 20. And a play fake, and now Heineke. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. That sack courtesy of the effort of Hassan Reddick. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Throwing on second and long. Heineke being chased out left. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Heineke thrown across his body and it's intercepted. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. 
They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And his throw is incomplete. When you're a capable runner, oftentimes your quarterback coach, your offensive coordinator, they love to see you break the pocket and go ahead and take off. I think he could have gotten vertical and picked up something there. Instead, he pushed it down here. Incomplete. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. In a draft day stunner, A.J. Brown will shift from Tennessee to Philadelphia. He appeared to be the long-awaited answer for Tennessee at receiver. And that can be that same long-awaited answer in Philadelphia. 2,000-yard seasons and 24 touchdowns in his first three years in the league. He gets Philly to tackle wide receiver one. The team hasn't had in almost a decade. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short. So it'll be third and less than a yard. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Fires the quick slant. A.J. Brown's got it. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's 43. Well, no sooner do the teams get to the locker rooms and they're running right back out. Halftime over, third quarter, ready to go. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. Washington down on the scoreboard, but they are getting the football first here, and we are back underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returned, so the second half begins with a touchback. The Washington offense ready to go to begin the third quarter. In the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense is thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive. But get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Steps away. To now the ball comes loose. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. So it's kind of more of the same offensively. This was a team needing to come out of this third quarter with a little fire. Instead, they put the ball on the ground. And you know that has to be the discussion at halftime because they're down two scores. we got to come out with a little bit more urgency than we had in the first half. Now that urgency falls on their defense because they can't fall down three scores and hope to come back and win this game. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles take a three-touchdown lead. Elliott good with a PAT, and it's now 21 to nothing. Scoring summary, three-play drive, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. They'll start on the ground with Gibson. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. He'll come up now second and four from the 31. They'll go again with Gibson. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Throwing. Heineke. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Yeah, on third down, you know those pass rushers. They're in the starter's block. They're just waiting for the pistol to fire. You can almost hear the defensive coaches on the sideline pre-snap. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. Really good job there of identifying it and making the play to force fourth down. A terrific return there, 27 yards all told. And the Eagles will have it taking all over right. first and 10. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. 
Oh, he bowls over it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to get this down near the 25. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves them with a second and three. Throwing his hurts. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And the throw there going to be incomplete. So Hurts is off, and on comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. A first down throw for Heineke. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Again, it's Heineke. This will be caught at Samuel. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Heineke on first down. And this one too low. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. To throw on second and 10, Heineke. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and 10. Working out of the gun. Here's Heineke. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Now Heineke on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Eagles defense able to hold. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. Pushes past it. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, giving 14. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's at the lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Another run with Sanders. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. They'll try and run for it with Sanders. 
And it was a stiff arm there that freed him enough to get the first before he's tackled. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now whistles and a timeout called here. Not sure of the point of this, but they'll stop it with four seconds to go in the game. And he carries this one past the midfield stripe and into commander territory. So flying Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia.